Hey guys. Really it's the day after Thanksgiving, but I passed out early, so there wasn't time for me to tell you what I ate. I only ate till I was satisfied. I didn't binge. I had turkey, beef, mashed potatoes, uh, green beans, pumpkin pie, ice cream. Only ate till I was satisfied. Just got back to Pullman from home. I had to work the Apple Cup security for the stadium. So, about to have my first meal. Go to work, I already have my meals packed up for the game. And then get a lift afterward. Another day. Almost halfway through this thing. Results are coming. I'm already feeling my abs without having to flex them really. It's not as much fat to jiggle around either. <laughs> so that's a definite improvement. What's up guys? Uh, okay, so there's not gonna be any workout today. Because for whatever reason, uh, Black Friday's uh, makes the SRC, the Student Rec Center, closed. I, I don't know why. Uh, I thought last year they kept it open. I assume they would do it this year. And other gyms around Pullman are doing the same thing. They're working less today. I'm not sure why. And you hear the cat in the background. So, uh, I just got off of standing all throughout a football game for, it's like, I think I worked eight hours. I, th I wasn't standing the whole time, but for most of it I was. Like five hours straight, which, I mean, in real time isn't that much, but it's enough for my legs to kind of feel like jello because I'm still trying to get over kind of a sick feeling. My appetite hasn't really returned yet either. So, um, yeah, so there's not going to be any workout, not today, but will be Saturday and Sunday for sure. And probably going to have to do like uh, Monday through Friday of next week to make up for it. So starting tomorrow, seven straight days of training should be fun. Very fun. Who knows, might do it Saturday and Sunday the next week, too. I'll be training every day. We'll see. So I'm going to relax right now and eat. Yeah. We are here at Coop Country. The best burgers you can possibly get. And my friend. French fries and burger. <laughs> no, I'm not getting anything. Watch it though. Look at this. <laughs> That'd be an appetizer for me. Don't look at me It'd be a little snack. Too much. It is late right now because I had junk I had to do all today. And so, rec center is back on regular hours, so we can go work out actually. So today we're gonna hit some back because we have not done that this week. At least I haven't yet. If you guys have, do one of the ones you haven't done. But we're doing back and calves. Because I couldn't do calves on Thursday, Thanksgiving, because we only had a half hour. And now it's just enough time to finish legs. We couldn't do calves because if I'd taken that time, uh, Mama would have run my neck. So, I ain't going to risk that. Uh, but we got back and calves. And I'm here drinking... My two monsters, because one monster doesn't really do that much for me. Just enough to wake me up, but to get enough energy, you need at least two. Because <clears throat> it doesn't have a very effective dosage in just one, one monster. But got about five meals in now, and uh, taking advantage of those Thanksgiving leftovers, which is really nice. Parents giving me most of the food, most of the turkey, because I'm really the only one that actually eats it. Um, but yeah, I got about four to five minutes till start of the workout, so I'm going to see you guys then. What's up, you guys? So, <clears throat> whoever was supposed to change the uh, closing time on the website 
for the rec center for Saturday uh, didn't do their job because when I got there, nobody was there. Sign on the door said 7 o'clock they closed, which is not what it said online. So, no bike workout, but instead we did uh, kind of like a 15 minute uh, hit training session. And I'm still coughing from uh, breathing in a bunch of cold air when I was running. So really what we did was I just took a huge lap around all the apartments here in the Pullman. So what we did to start it was we did about two, three minutes of jog slash walk. And that was just to get some blood into the leg muscles. And after that, stretch them out, get the muscles warmed up. And right away we did about 45 seconds of jogging and then did 20 to 30 seconds of running. About 75, 80% of the top speed you can do. And I was gonna do jogging in between the running uh, throughout the entire time, but the cold air wasn't gonna let that happen. I couldn't get very good amount of oxygen and I was feeling burning in my chest and my throat from the cold air. So <clears throat> just the first couple of times we did the jog in between. After that we went walking. And progressively it got from 45 seconds in between the running to about a minute, or minute and a half. The minute and a half was closer to the end just because uh, just for me personally, I don't know if it happens to most people, but breathing in cold air when I'm running at the speed that I am and as hard as I was, it does not mix well, especially if I'm not drinking water and I'm not going to carry around a water bottle when I'm running. Really don't want to. So uh, after the first couple of times, we went to walking in between and then running 75, 80% of your top speed for 20 to 30 seconds and we did that for a total of 15 minutes you should start with the light jogging and you should end with the walking so first thing you do should be the 45 seconds of easy or whatever it is the easy running easy jogging easy walking whatever and ending with that too just so that way you're not straight up sprinting at the end and then stopping that's not healthy for your heart. You need to do a little bit of a cool down. So <clears throat> if it ever comes up when you really can't get to the gym and all you have is like 15 minutes in the day, just do that. Just do the HIIT training for like 15, 20 minutes. Uh, I stopped at 15 just because I don't know why. The cold air was not mixing with me and my lungs, I couldn't get the breath in me and it was enough for me. Part of that I'm sure is just because energy is so low. So you don't have to do exactly what I did you don't have to uh, if you honestly can't do the 75-80% of your speed for the full 15 minutes then don't just give it the best that you can go at your speed <clears throat> don't just try to copy mine because some of y'all aren't there and that's okay it's not nothing to be ashamed of you gotta start where you gotta start at. I had to start at some point too so do what you can do try and follow me as much as you can Try and follow the percentage, the times that I do it, as closely as you can. If you can't, that's fine. Do as much as you can. Work your hardest. Only you can judge how much effort you're putting into it. I can't, and nobody else on earth can. So it's up to you. Be honest with yourself. Keep yourself accountable. Get the best results you can. You're going for a month doing this. You're making sacrifices. You're trying to get a better body. Get more in shape. So it's on you. Give it the best you can. <clears throat> but that was it for today. I've got one more meal left, and I honestly do not have an appetite. Also, uh, post-workout shake. You do need it more for a hit, I think. So I'm about to take mine right now. Uh, just because I wasn't going to get anything down. I felt like throwing up if I took it right away. Um... And I still don't have an appetite, really. But 
Uh, go into detail of why HIT training instead of low intensity steady state cardio. So like I went an hour of like just a little bit of a jog or on the, you know, people on the treadmill, the bike or elliptical, whatever. Just because uh, it works better for me. I've done training programs, as I stated before in the training video, and they didn't do as much for me as HIT training does. And I prescribe HIT training more to people if they ask me for tips. HIT, high intensity interval training, uh, you don't lose as much calories during the workout as you do low intensity state of state cardio, but you lose more after. So HIT, you're burning calories during and after the workout. Low intensity, only during. And even then, it gets very long, very boring, and you don't burn as much calories as you can from HIT. The HIT training, uh, <coughs> what it does is it uh, causes muscle damage uh, in your legs and it causes your body to burn calories during the workout and also to recover from that to burn calories. Some studies have shown that uh, with doing HIT, your body will actually burn calories from that specific workout up to 48 hours after. And it totals out to sometimes around up to nine times as many calories doing that HIT workout rather than steady state. It's ultimately a much more effective workout and it's a lot more fun. It's just, and you get the job done sooner. The only, uh, <coughs> only thing people really won't like about it, I think, is that it takes a lot more effort. For me though, it's a lot easier just because it's much more of a mental strain to do low intensity than it is high intensity, at least for me. But that's why I prefer HIT because it works more for me and also it's ultimately much more effective than low intensity. We were gonna do a back workout and get the thing done, but the gym was closed. But you gotta learn to improvise. You gotta know how to adapt to your situation. Don't let it control you, control your environment. And that's just how it worked out. We had to get it done. We couldn't do two straight rest days. Could not do it. So, had to do it. Hit training. Get a good workout. It's not going to be as effective, but still going to get the job done. So that is it for today. Learn to adapt. Got to improvise. Got to be creative. Got to get the job done as best as you can. Give the best effort that you got, man. Only you can judge the amount of effort you give. Be honest with yourself. Give it everything you got. Get the best results you can possibly give. So I will see you guys next.